Hi, this is Arthur Hill, Senior Technical Analyst with StockCharts.com. This instructional video will cover market carpets. Here are the topics and the timeline for today. We'll start by showing you how to create a market carpet. We'll go over the different parts of the market carpet. We'll show you how to get information for analysis. We'll show you how to adjust the time period. And we'll show you how to change among the various technical indicators. And finally, we'll go over the other market carpet options available. Creating a market carpet. There are several ways to create a market carpet. I'm here on the free charts page. You can see up at the top left. And under charting tools on the right side, you will see a link for the market carpets. You can also scroll down the free charts page. And on the left column there, you will also see a link for market carpets. And there's a nice drop down menu there that you can use to select a predefined market carpet. The other way to create a market carpet is to go to your members page. And from the members control center, you can scroll down and see a link for market carpets. Now let's look at the parts of the market carpet. The first part of the market carpet is the actual market carpet itself. And what is it telling us? Well, there are green and red colored squares, and they are shaded different versions of green and red. And the darker green they are, the bigger the percentage gain. And the darker red they are, the bigger the percentage loss. So at a quick glance, we can easily see where the bigger gainers are and where the bigger losers are. Now at the top left, you have a drop down menu for the indicators available. We also have an arrow button that you can click to go up or down a level. In the middle, you have the color scheme that shows you the range for the price change used. We have the date range. And then at the top right, you can see buttons to create different charts. The chart at the top right shows the top gain or new field exploration, but you can click on any box in the market carpet and change that chart to that particular symbol. Below that, we have the top five and the bottom five performers. Further down at the bottom right, you have a slider you can use to change the date range. We have a link for some predefined market carpets, and there are links for quick tips, instructions, and a permalink to share. Getting information for analysis. This is the default setting for the sector market carpet. And you can see some numbers in some of these boxes. And those are the best and worst performing on this particular time frame. Now I'll show you some quick and easy settings that will get you up and running on the market carpet. If I hover over the market carpet and right click, I will get a menu and I can show all the ticker symbols. You'll notice that some boxes are bigger than others, and that is because the larger capitalization stocks will have larger boxes like Walmart, and the smaller ones will have smaller boxes like Kroger here. If I right click again, I can make that square mode so that they're all equal. And then it makes it pretty easy to see where the red is, where the green is, where the laggards are, where the leaders are. Now one more nifty thing to show you. Up at the top left, there is a button with an arrow and I can click it to go up or down a level. Now I can see which sectors are leading and which sectors are lagging. And we can see energy is the darkest green and the leader over this time period. And we can see healthcare is the darkest red or the laggard. And again, on the right, you have the top four and the bottom four. If we want to go back up and look at the stocks, we move to the top left and click the arrow to point it up. Now, another nifty trick is if there's a certain sector you want to drill down into and see how the stocks are performing, you can go down to that sector. I'm here in the finance sector and I'm going to click on all, all state. And if you double click on that, it's going to open up just that sector for the market carpet. And again, you can go back by using the arrow. Changing the time period. Chartists can change the time period on the market carpet by going down to the bottom right. And there you have a slider. And if you click on the left edge of that slider and drag it, 
you can expand the date range. So I can go to 10 days, which is 10 trading days or two weeks. You can click in the middle of the slider and move the entire slider to a particular date area you would like. And you can see the date area just at the top in the middle. And you can click and drag on the right edge to expand that way. There's one more thing you can do. You can right click on the slider to see a couple of presets here, a week, a month, or two months. Changing the technical indicator. Chartists can easily change to another indicator using the drop down menu at the top left. There are all the indicators available. And I'm going to use the scooter in this example, or SCTR. And you can see the little delta button just to the right. That means we're in change mode. So we're seeing the biggest changes in the scooter over the particular time frame we've selected. And a little further to the right in the middle, you can see the color scheme. It goes from plus 42, the biggest change on the positive side, minus 42, the biggest change on the negative side. So we can see where all the red is. Those are the biggest scooter losers. And the green would be the biggest scooter gainers. And then over on the right, of course, you can see the top scooter gainers and losers. Now, if I go back up and I click this Delta button and it becomes unshaded or unselected, we're in absolute mode. And this is the absolute value of the scooter for this particular day. And we can see where the strength is. And that would be there's some green in financials here and where the weakness is. There's some red in energy. And if you're not sure which sector that is, you can use the arrow button at the top to go up or down a level. So we can see energy is red, financials are green. One more thing to point out here, when you go over to the right, when you see the top and the bottom four, this is the average scooter in that sector. Other market carpet options. There are a number of other options available if you just hover over the market carpet and right click and you will see all these options. I'm not going to go through all of them and I recommend you test them and see which ones you like. The hide info box is actually three options. So I click that and I'm going to hide the info box that pops out. I click it again. I can get a fixed info box down at the bottom right. And if I right click, I can go back to the floating info box that shows me the information as I float over the market carpet. And that concludes this instructional video for the market carpet. Be sure to check out our other instructional videos and thanks for watching.